I'm Sir Tap Tap. When we last left off, we had 2.5 out of 3, or out of 5, um, of our puzzle solved, and we need a bit more goo, so we're gonna do that first. Here we go. Here's that delayed satisfaction. It's gonna be so relieving when we finally put the goo in the receptacle. Just trust me. I'm sorry we had to leave off on a sour note. I'm sorry that I, I goo blocked you, but it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it, trust me. Yeah! There you go. See? There we go. Three out of five. So just a little bit more. And we know where one of our thingers is, because we put that thing in that slot. And it's right over there, so this won't be too much longer. Can I jet back over? No. No, I can't. Okay. But I can jet back over here. <laughs> like this little lighthouse thingy. I'm a sucker for lighthouses. You don't like lighthouses, you suck. Get real. Okay. It's this thing. What's this? Switches over. Okay. So that's in the same position as this thing is. I think... Whenever there's a button that you need to press, there's, there's, you always need to press the button. Nothing is ever in the position that it's supposed to be in. So, that should... Wait. Wait, no. Okay, so now it's in the wrong orientation and the wrong side. Oh, I... Okay, so... so Red. No red. Okay, I'm gonna be totally real. When I first played this, I just put I just put the right orientation. I just found a guide to figure out how this works. But the way it works, the red on the lower one is which side it's gonna be on, and the red triangle at the top is actually the orientation. So it, it does make sense. I was just confused. <laughs> first time I was just like I just kept messing with it, and I must have just kept passing over the right solution. Um, but I didn't figure out how that worked. But now I've had some time to stew on it. See, that sometimes that in puzzles, that's why I really like in puzzle games, we have different puzzles to go and solve, and not everything is in sequence. Because um, sometimes when you come back with a fresh mind, you, um, you're able to figure stuff out better. Just because you get, you get an idea stuck in your head, and you're like, all right, it has to be like this, and you just keep poking at it, and it doesn't work. And then you, you come back with a fresh mindset, and it works a lot better. Excuse me. There you go. There's also a phenomenon called rubber ducky debugging. That, wait. Okay, let me talk to this guy. It's going good? I don't think you're supposed to put, you know, printed circuit boards in goo, but whatever. You're the scientist, not me. Alright, so we just need one more thing. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, there's, a, there's a concept called rubber ducky debugging that is actually um, very helpful in, in puzzle solving or you know, trouble solving. It, um, it, um, oops. no! Okay, so I'm just going to level with you. This is another part of the game that I think was very silly. Um, that thing in the water there is not just like a graphical thing that's neat to see that is the item we need and I had no idea where to find this next part until I saw the guide so we know that we need it now fortunately but yeah I think that was kind of weird it just really doesn't look to me like it would fit like it's not yellow we can't tell that it's yellow um, and we it doesn't have any shapes that would indicate to me that's what we need. Uh, I think it could have been... I think I could have figured this out if it was more clear to me that that was our part. Like, if it had, like, a socket that very clearly fit our thing. Or if we knew somehow. I think I broke this. I think this won't work now. 
yeah. I, I put that wrong, so hold on. Um, the, the only real hint is that it's yellow and that it's kind of square shaped, but we couldn't tell that it was yellow. Hold on, I, it's hard to see. You can't really see in there. There we go. Okay, so we need this to be, we need the red on the right. All right, that'll be good. Also looking at it, there's only like four possible positions on that. I pressed the buttons more than four times. I, I was very confused. I must have just accidentally passed over the solution or something. Not actually sure why you can do those rocket jumps. You would never really need to do that. But if there was some indication that that motor was like the thing you need or something. So like you can kind of hear it when you zoom all the way in, but not when you're out. See, I, I guess there's the sides. I don't know. It just really did not seem to me logical that you could put that there. And now we fix the thing. Will we finally be free of this dreadful planet that was actually quite pleasant and nice? But it's not our planet, so we're gonna leave. Where do these dudes live anyway? Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Don't break your neck just, say to, just to say goodbye to me. Like, where do you guys live? Well. Now Pan Pan is off for greener pastures. Where will Pan Pan go? Oops. Sorry. My bad. Where will Pan Pan go? Nobody knows. It's got like small little things like this. Not not too big. This game was just three bucks, by the way. I guess I should have mentioned that earlier. Thank you for playing Pan Pan. And three bucks for a game that's about an hour. I think that's quite reasonable. I mean, it depends how good the game is, of course. You know, if you if you enjoyed it. It's more of enjoy three minutes of or three bucks worth of enjoyment, but you know, as far as the movie analogy goes, I think it's like eight to ten bucks for like an hour and a half. So yeah, I think three bucks for an hour, quite reasonable. I mean, three bucks—that's like getting uh, it's like getting a Snickers or two. I, th I think this game was definitely more than a Snickers worth of entertainment. That's my kefir I'm jiggling, by the way. You gotta shake it. Aw, the little birdie's hatched! I don't like its, like, loose jaw. That unsettles me, but... <laughs> he's Aw, he's got a band-aid on his head! Oh no! I didn't realize that the first time. <gasps> oh no. Mr. Strandedman! <gasps> there he is! You can leave too. You don't have to be a bush person. Go ask go ask the dudes with the sick mustaches. They can help you. Come on. How did you crash in a cave, by the way? How does that even work? Well, whatever. I hope there's like a Pan Pan 2. But we figure out what happened to Mr. Bush person. Little hexagon stars. That was Pan Pan? That was super cute. Obviously not a whole ton of replayability, but I really liked it. And um, <laughs> it'll definitely take you longer than it took me without a guide, trust me. I mean, you, you saw the video, which is basically a guide, I guess. Well, not basically a guide, but would serve a similar purpose, just slower. Um, I guess surprised it has three save slots, but I mean, why not? It, it, it bugs me when games only have one save slot, so I mean, you could have multiple people in your house. Sure, have multiple save slots. Then again, the Switch, um, I was playing this on Switch, by the way. Um, the Switch does have it where you can, like, have different characters, or different save slots, rather. See, I got Blathers as my second save. <laughs> I even named the account Second Save, um, and that's what I linked my European account to, so I can get uh, European review keys. Oh, hey, there's language options, too. Um, we didn't check the options. Let me check the options real quick. So we got English, Japanese, and... Uh, Two varieties of uh, Chinese. 
be the options. I think it's just like camera settings. Uh, invert zoom, no. Zoom speed. I like when games do offer some camera options. Sometimes, sometimes um, it might be too fast for you. Sometimes it might be too slow for you. Um, I really do prefer when games have some options like that. The uh, there's obviously not many like quick input decisions you need to make. So um, not the biggest deal that it doesn't have you know configurable controls, but that is definitely preferable to have as an option. Um, you know, some setups may not work for some people as well. Um, I does the Switch... I don't think the Switch does have, like, remapping controls ba uh, as, like, a system-level feature. That is nice. The Xbox One and PS4 ha both have that. We can just remap the buttons on your own. Um, very good for accessibility, because maybe, you know, you need all the buttons on one side, so you can play with just one hand, um, stuff like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, good game. I really like the, uh, really like the looks, just... I'm just a real sucker for this kind of aesthetic, and just for cute small games. Um, by the way, if you want to recommend games to me, best thing to recommend, neat, small things. Small things. Um, this game was like about an hour, I would say, my first playthrough, and that's about perfect for videos, or like even 15 to 30 minutes. Um, if it's something that's like gonna be 20 hours, I'm probably, I might play it myself for enjoyment, but for videos, that's, you know, that's a lot of time that I could have been spent covering other stuff. I like to cover small things. I like to cover lots of different things. That's kind of the point of the channel, just to show you stuff that you might not see elsewhere, and so you can check it out. But anyway, we are to the rambling point of the video, which means I should probably stop. I'm Sir Tap Tap. Look at my beautiful little legs. This is Pan Pan. Have a good day. All right, gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out.